Hello, my name is Michael Sweet. I'm joining you today from our headquarters in Boston, Massachusetts. It's a pleasure to be with you. So I'm the CEO of a company called Credo, and I've been the CEO since 2008. The com Credo focuses on two major areas. The first is we offer research platforms to libraries. And the second area is we offer online learning management system um, for people learning to uh, teach critical thinking, information literacy, communication, and other foundational skills. And you can follow us, uh, you can follow me at our Twitter handle here, or you can check us out at our blog. Um, this is where I typically blog quite often. So I'm really excited to talk a little bit about two of my biggest passions, information literacy and critical thinking. We live in an age uh, where we have access to an unprecedented amount of information, and this creates a great opportunity for us as a society. But at the same time, we're faced with new challenges, and previous challenges are expanding as well. For example, the rapid potential for proliferation of fake news. So those are some big challenges that we're, that we're faced with today, and that's what I'm coming to talk to you about. So after I give you a little bit of a background on Credo and what we're all about, then you're going to have an opportunity to test your skills and knowledge in the area of fake news by leveraging our online learning platform. So this quote kind of summarizes what I previously said about the opportunity we have in front of us. The amount of information that's available means that answers are just a click away for many of us. It talks about the challenges that teens and early young adults have not in accessing information, but in being able to evaluate information and determine whether it's the tr truth or not. And I would our only complaint I would make against this quote is that this isn't just localized to teens and, and young adults. I think it's true across society, across all segments of the population. I think this is becoming an ever increasing challenge for us. So with that, let's just give you a little bit of background on who Credo is. Credo is a company that's been serving libraries around the world for over 15 years. We have nearly 2,500 customers and we operate in 60 con countries. Our largest presence is in higher ed, but we serve libraries of all types, including state governments, uh, international markets. Um, we serve public libraries, schools, and so we're very diversified with our customer base and serve millions and millions of learners across the globe. And our core product has historically been, as I mentioned before, an online research platform. And on that platform, we partner with 140 of the best publishers in the world to, to aggregate authoritative reference material that covers nearly every subject and topic that you can think of. And that is, comes together in a database that has millions of full text entries. We have videos, we have images, and we have audio clips to really make for an immersive and engaging research experience. And the purpose of this platform that we've built is really to help students and learners and people of all types to build background context and the subject vocabulary so that they can research more effectively, so that they can be more effective at using more advanced scholarly databases and can be better at sifting through the news and making connections between topics. And our newest division, which is a spin out of our, of our Credo reference business, is called Credo Education. And in this division, we're focused on delivering online courseware and assessment platforms that help people develop key foundational skills in the areas of information literacy, critical thinking, communication, global citizenship, and logic and reason. And the reason that we do that is because we're, our mission is about empowering people with the skills needed to succeed as real-time learners. We live in an age now where you need to be able to dynamically learn new things, you need to be able to adapt, and we believe that it's essential that you have these foundational skills of information literacy, critical thinking, communication, and others, so that when you're faced with a new learning opportunity or in a new learning moment, you're able to adapt and quickly scaffold the new skills and knowledge that you need to be successful. So how do we go about delivering this platform and this curriculum and information um, learning materials? So 
the whole approach that we have has been designed by curriculum and instructional design as experts, and they put together assess assessments, scenarios, different multimedia instructional materials to make for a very um, engaging learning environment. And that team that we have that does that has backgrounds in information science, in journalism, in all aspects of education, and we have people that have video backgrounds and design backgrounds so that they can make for that engaging experience. And our approach to how we develop the materials is we first look to the standards, the, whether they're the ACRL framework or Paul and Elder's framework or the Sconal pillars. Um, we, we take those and then we tie our learning outcomes to those standards. So that's our approach. And then, of course, we're always researching and experimenting with how to make more engaging learning um, experiences for our targeted learners. So that's just a little bit of background on what Credo is all about and how we do what we do. So now I'd love to have you take a look at our critical thinking assessment in action. So I'm going to give you a bit of an introduction to that platform and to what you're going to be experiencing. And then at the end, I'll turn you loose and you can have the uh, pleasure of using those materials. So what are you going to be uh, encountering? So it's a quite simple, really. It's You're going to be looking at two different videos, a tutorial, and then ultimately a very short assessment at the end. And again, this is a, a, a compilation of learning materials that are really designed to address the proliferation and damage that's being caused by uh, the spread of fake news. So that's really the goal of these materials. It'll be very short. It'll take you less than a half an hour. And I think you'll find it very um, interesting and engaging. So first, you're going to be going into a video where you learn how to identify and debunk fake news. And so this video will allow you to see how um, where information is coming from and why fake news exists. It'll allow you to point to specific, or it will point to specific examples in fake news that will be helpful to you to um, just have as context. And it'll ultimately explain to you how to identify and discredit false information. And once you've completed that, you're going to move into a tutorial, and this tutorial will have several different elements that are all related to how to identify reliable and credible sources. It'll talk about how to know when things on the open web are reliable. It'll talk about how to dissect an article, including understanding an article's purpose and how that's uh, represented. And it will finish with some pros and cons of using Google and Wikipedia. And then we'll go on to another video that focuses on objectivity and reporting. And this will focus on news reports that are produced by media outlets and describe the difference between persuasive and objective journalism. It will explain the elements that are used to identify these two categories of reporting. And finally, you'll be invited to take a five question quiz where you'll get to um, show that you understand the purpose of fake news, you'll understand that you understand the strategies for identifying biased or unsupported claims, and that you have uh, understand some key tips for recognizing quality sources of information. I was especially pleased to see this weekend that a, that a quote that we had submitted to the New York Times was, was uh, run in the New York Times Magazine. Um, we, we are very passionate about this issue. We think it's incredibly important, and we're going to continue as a company to do everything we can to help address this critical gap in teaching and learning. So with that, I hope you enjoy the fake quiz, uh, fake news quiz. I hope that you um, can send me any questions or comments that you have about this. I'd love it if you'd check us out at any of our websites to learn more about what we're doing and the mission that we're on. And I look forward to staying in touch, and I hope you have a great conference. Thank you.